What is going on YouTube? We're back with another episode of Drug Dealer Simulator. Oh, I did not mean to not call whoever that was. I'm so sorry. All right, there we go. They're calling me back. It's Eddie. Hey, yo, good news, baby. That drugstore downtown seems to be open now. Thank you. They just finished the renovation or something. Might want to check that out for some, uh, you know, new medicine. It's ran by my old boy, Jamie. I'll let him know. Oh, it's ran by Jamie, huh? Something extra in his offer. Whoa, now that guy might have some interesting chemicals. The drugstore. New lab equipment. Go, go check it out. We love that. Hey, you, stop right there. Dude, like, for real? Stand still, please. Suspect on the run! What? Come on! No! 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 Eventually, I want to start mixing like big amounts, but we need money for that. And right now, we actually have a lot, a lot of shit to move right now. So honestly, once we sell this, I think we're gonna be okay. But we just gotta make sure we're getting rid of it. And nobody was buying it. Everyone was buying the X. I don't think I like the X because it's not as much profit margin. I may disable that. And then we may move our way up to crystal meth, and I may, once we get rid of all this amphetamine, we may end up disabling that as well. The next morning. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so it's been a few days now, and Pablo Chacon has had some time to think and self-reflect for himself, man. I have decided myself, Pablo Chacon has decided that we, we can't be doing the shit that we've been doing before. We can't expect to be doing the same things. And for it to keep working out. Obviously, we got caught in the last one. And that's not what we want. Our general risk factor is showing off. Which, I mean, is great. You know, we're a cocky, arrogant motherfucker. Pablo Chacon, don't give no shits, man. But showing off, we don't need that right now. Not at the stage that we're at in our drug lord game. And speaking of drug lord, our exposition factor is that drug lord. Which is great. I mean, Pablo Chacon is going to be a big drug lord one day. But for right now... We need to lay low. We need to get our funds up. We need to get our infrastructure up. So we do not, we do not need these kinds of things happening right now at all. So I made an, I made an executive decision. One, we are not, not going to be doing deals during the day. I can go, I'll go pick up drugs during the day probably. And two, I'm only going to be selling to our dealers. Okay, the guys working underneath me. Unless, unless a client wants some substantial amounts and i mean like five grams are up i think five grams is going to be my cutoff of whatever we are selling because trying to do these little runs for two and three grams obviously is not worth the risk for us right now at all so we're gonna kick off we have 24 points left or 24 why did i say 24 28 points left to spend we're gonna do that i'm pretty sure that bumps us past the 50 percent so we should be getting an extra two skill points gained per level now, I want to upgrade Illusionist. I definitely want to upgrade Stealth. Runner. I'm going to do Stealth again. Stealth again. And then we have four more. Maybe do we want to do... Let's just do Salesman. We'll keep it nice and balanced. Honestly, I don't necessarily give a fuck about our pockets. Because we've got a huge backpack. So who, who cares? No, come at me with something better. Come at me with something better. Just know, man. I need bigger shit than that. Buy it from Ben Benedict or Johan. I don't need your business, bitch. Another thing, too, is we only have 700 cash. We need 1,000 to pay Eddie. We need 1,000 to pay Eddie. So we need, we need to, we really need to start getting this shit moving. For some reason, too, I've had to turn down the music. It's glitched out where it, it's playing the, the escape music, the police escape music perpetually. And I just, it's, it's honestly really fucking annoying me. I know they have done a lot of updates to this game since the last time that I played it. But I hate when updates break more shit. It's not... It's, uh. Either way, I think we're going to do a little bit of waiting here. And we're going to wait until it becomes nighttime. We'll go run these orders. And we're just going to take it slow for right now. Hopefully this, this, will, this will help chill everything else out. And it'll give time for our other clients, as you guys are here in the dinging right now, to take in more orders. So that one, when we go out, it's maximum efficiency. And that's really all we can ask for and all we want, right? I didn't know that was a mechanic. That's not good. I just lost all those sales. We have got 
to make sure that we don't accept until we are ready to go out and about. Oh, that's killer. Pablo Chacon, don't goofed up, man. I don't fucked up, brother. Ah! All right, Johan, here you go, buddy. What did you want? You wanted 34, right? Oh, it's only 24. I'm tweaking, bros. Yo, Ben, what up, dog? 28 grams of the Mary Jane. That's Steven! Hey, boy! I really thought that was a cop. No bullshit. Thought it was a cop. I'm just a normal citizen walking through the street. Nothing to see here, motherfuckers. I assume Stephanie's gonna be right here. Yes, you are. What up, you little addict? Take the shit. Okay, we did it. We did it. We did it. That was that was really sketchy. That was a welcome back to the drug ring. Pablo Chacon. What's up, coppers? I just made a lot of money right under your fucking nose, man. You think that's because you arrest me once, I'm going to be done, man? Huh? I ain't never going to fucking stop till this town is mine. You comprende? You comprende? El gringo? You comprende? Yeah, that's what I fucking thought, man. I fucking thought. This town is fucking Pablo Chacon's, bitch. It's fucking Pablo. Mm. And now we don't have to accept any orders. We don't have to. That was a thing. I did not know that the failed delivery thing was a was was a mechanic. I really did not. I thought that them little addicts would just sit out there and, and vibe out. Okay, I really did. So our average delivery time is pretty good and we're respected. It's not green, it's yellow, it, it's it's on it's coming down, okay? Word around the streets, Pablo Chacon got arrested. Sometimes that's gonna bring your respect up, sometimes it's gonna take it down, man. And right now it's not working very good for us. I wanna see if we can increase our prices, even like a dollar. A dollar? Okay, we can do a dollar. Okay, but that's increasing our profit margin. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The other thing, too, that, that kind of sucks with all this, with us not doing as many deals, our respect in certain areas is really about to tank. Yo! They brought out fucking dogs, man! Patrol requested around two towers. Over. Yo, listen, I know you're cute and cuddly right now, but I know you're going to be... You're gonna be trying to tear open my asshole to find drugs, cause that's what you're trained to do. Oh boys. This is getting sketchy, man. <laughs> this is getting so unbelievably sketchy. Ben, where you at, brother? Thank you. Give me the money. Bang, okay. Level 14, run that shit up. And we can go pay Eddie while we're over here, too. That is actually incredibly scary that they have dogs. That actually makes me want to shit a fucking brick. I need clients that bring me, that, that want to buy large amounts for me. But I get that there is the, the gradual workup of some client. Sometimes it's not always perfect like that. All right, boys. Police hour start in 19 minutes. We got a lot of places to go, but they're all right around us. And that's kind of what exactly what we want. I'm sure that our exposition factor has already gone down quite a bit. Yeah, look at that. It goes down, honestly, a lot faster than, than I thought that it would, which is great. Which means we can keep doing what we're doing. Love that. I'm going to put that into that because I just want to keep getting skill points. Exposition factor, come and get me. Okay, we're not a drug lord anymore. That's good. This seems like the best way to do it. As long as we don't get caught. That's the main thing. Sixteen times a detail. That's a fuck. <laughs> That's a Fallout seventy six reference. Oh, I love it, dude. <laughs> Dude, they can't be serious right now. It's like they know. I might be fucked here, boys. I might be big fucked here. Dude, doing this at police hours is just so incredibly stressful. Wait a minute.
Oh my god, this is hard. Why the fuck did I have to pick my own lock in my own home? Why can't I use a safe station? I'm so confused right now. Wait a minute, did I get raided? What happened to my apartment, brother? It says rented. What the hell, man? Is it because it's police hours? Oh, I'm so confused. Okay, though, I'll tell you what, that was actually a very, very, very successful night raid, and I'm very pleased with that. The sun looks like it's coming up. We did our due diligence during the night. We made some money. We actually made quite a bit. So that was almost $900 in profit. And we still have, we still have 29 grams of Mary Jane. We don't have anything in there. We've got, what, we've got a lot of amphetamine. We're, yeah. We're doing all right right now. We're actually doing really, really well right now. And we're almost to the big boy drug with the cocaine reaching a level 16. So we're gonna keep working our way towards that. I think we're gonna be able to get that in the next one or the one after that. So I guess this one we'll, we'll do crystal meth. We'll see what that's, that's all about. I don't know. Really, yeah, yeah, yeah. be some fucking tweakers, man. Well, this hillbilly is with two teeth missing. Like, hey, man, you got some crystal meth, bro? I need my meth, dude. That's what I picture. Because I grew up with people in my hometown that were just uh, had to have been methed out. There's no other excuse. I want to at least, at least try to sell some of the crystal meth. Maybe mix it? I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but... I've done some deals off camera, and we've got $1,300 of the spawn hard cash in Pablo Chacon's pockets, man. Mmm, absolutely beautiful. We love that. So we're gonna be able to make another drop and probably pay Eddie immediately, which is great, because that means whatever we get from that, and whatever we pedal out, whatever we throw out into our, or into our, what's, what's the word I'm looking for here, chat? Into our drug environment, is all coming back to us in the form of hundred hundred dollar bills, y'all! And we love that. Pablo Chacon loves his money. Oh, Ben! Uh, this is why I need to get some more shit. So maybe we don't fuck with Crystal Meth this episode. Maybe we save that for the next episode. And we go and we buy us some insanely dope lab equipment. And we uh, we do some upgrades. The Pablo Chacon's chemistry set. <laughs> we got a $1,600 limit, dude. Holy shit. You think we started out with like a $100 limit to where we are now? Oh, Lord. This is this is something. I forget, man. This game is just so fun. It's, it's, like, it's like the forbidden fruit of games, you know? Where people that... You know, most games obviously have violence and stuff, but they kind of stay away from the drugs and things like that. And this game is just like, here, go be a fucking drug dealer. <laughs> That's a lot of drugs, man. Eddie, I need 40 grams of the crystal meth, man. Uh, I need 120 grams of the Ricky Bobby. And then I need an oddly weird amount of 74 grams of that Stephen A, boy. The weed. I want you to know, I've got a headache, and I'm coming in here because I got a prescription, okay? I'm glad we understand ourselves, officer. Stupid. All right, Jamie Waltz. What you got for me, buddy? What kind of medicine does he have? Par par paracetamol? A popular painkiller. Oh, God. Ibuprofen. He's got Viagra. <laughs> Yo, do we try to mix our shit with Viagra? I feel like I, I feel like we gotta try, bro. <laughs> I feel like we gotta try. Let's just try one mix and see what people think. 15 grams will still be quite a bit. All right, lab equipment. What exactly are we gonna need? Small electric mixer holds up to 150 grams. Yes! We need one of those. And I really wanna get two of these. I don't know, but I feel like I just want to spend fucking money, man. Like we got mix, like what am I going to mix liquid wise? I don't know. I'm an innocent man. Order and pay. Oh shit. I'm broke. Hold up, buddy. Do we launder it? Yo, you know what? Jordan Belfort, bitch. Let's do like 700. 
Do I got money now? We got money. Let's go. Okay, we don't want to send it to the old market shop because I'm pretty sure that place is already under fucking wraps. We're going to send it to the main apartment. Bang. Upgrade, bitch. Yo, will they get mad if I have Viagra? You think? I mean, you could probably use some of this. Hey, you. Do you have anything illegal on you? Why you think your wife be calling me, bro? You see this shit I got in my pocket? These little blue pills? Yeah. Okay. Your wife love when Pablo Chacon takes these little blue pills, you little fucking motherfucker! Alright. <laughs> okay. So we see how this looks right now, right? We see how this looks right now? And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, look at our little bitty lab. The Pablo Chacon is cooked up. We got a fucking 100 gram brick, man. A 100 gram brick. Look at this shit, man. Oh, this is starting to get real. And then our first look at Crystal Meth. Dude, we'll probably sling that next episode. I just really honestly, honestly wanted to get some upgrades here. This is a big step for us, because now that we can do this, that, that this mixer holds 150 grams, we can start mixing for our dealers as well. And this is, oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. I'm sure I've got quite a bit of orders over here, but this looks good. It looks very clean. It looks organized. It looks like something a businessman like Pablo Chacon would do. You gotta have everything nice and tucked away, nice and fucking neat, man. Gotta do it. Gotta fucking do it, man. I think I want to try to cut this with Viagra. But what do you think's a good mix? Like 115? Maybe that's what we do. This can hold 100, right? I think we do that, boys. Okay, so let's... I don't know why I packaged the, the thing of 100. Oh, my God. Yeah. Place that down. <laughs> and let's throw that in there. 100 grams. And let's... Oh, wait. Okay, we got to powder, powder it first. And that can hold 50, so that's pretty good, honestly. Let's go ahead and mill that out. Uh, uh, crush them little blue pills up, baby boy! What the hell are we gonna call this, though, boys? What are we gonna call this? Viagra and speed. Oh, I know what we're gonna call it. <laughs> I know what we're gonna call it. We're gonna call it the Energizer Bunny, because he's just... That's what we're calling it. The Energizer Bunny. Oh, let's go. Yep. Oh my God, apply the mix. Oh my God, I'm actually way too excited for this. Energizer? Bunny. Yeah, this is gonna take a good little while. So I wonder if this will go while I'm left. Oh, that's nice, we can just, yeah, just do your thing, man, do your thing. We need five twos and a 32. Five twos. Okay. And a 32. Bang. 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 Energizer buddy, baby. All right, now it's time for us to give it to our clients and go see if they like it, man. Like, more importantly, do their, do their partners like it? Do the husbands, do the wives? Boyfriends, girlfriends, partners, do they like it? Hopefully we ain't killing nobody. We're not doing like crazy amounts of mixes here. We're not like doing a 50-50 mix. But you know, it is Viagra. So if they have like an underlying heart condition, they could be fucked. And pun intended with the Viagra, honestly. Yo, what up, Camille? You want two grams of amphetamine? Oh, that scared me. That's big though. That's big. Level 15, which means in one more level, we're gonna be able to start selling cocaine. <laughs> oh, which is wild. All right, Jade. Is it bad I'm starting to know my customers just by how they look? You need 10 grams of the marijuana. That's the I'm gonna be honest, Ted, we gotta fucking hurry, buddy. Oda Doritos, man. Back on over here, man. What's up, Ben? I got some new shit for you to try, buddy. That Energizer Bunny. Let me know. Let me know. See, just like that, we got 200 respect for that. Like, 
All it takes is a big run and you get all this XP and all of this respect in these areas. Love that. Love that. And we're spreading this product like wildfire. I know like you lose respect in a lot of areas, but I'm really just all about getting my money right now. That's legitimately all I give a fuck about. And just like that, we're back up to a thousand bucks. The final, the final bit of the Energizer Bunny. Here you go, buddy. And we still have a lot back at the crib, but just like that, buddy boy, we're all good. I mean, I guess it's important to try to keep your, your respect up in every area as high as you can, but at a given point, it's just impossible. And obviously, I'd like to get some more dealers that are working for us. And I feel like we're close on a lot of those fronts. All right, boys, I'll tell you what. I think that is honestly a fantastic, fantastic place to stop. Uh, I don't know how long this episode's actually gonna be, but we did a little bit of organization. We got some really fucking good upgrades for us. And we got a new mix, baby. The Energizer Bunny, the little fucking bunny that could. So hope you guys did enjoy the episode. If you did, make sure to drop a like on that bitch before you leave, man. How are you not enjoying this fire content? Absolutely fire. But for real, if you guys did enjoy, it, it really does mean the world for me if you Hit a like, and it helps, honestly, it helps spread the video out there to people that may not be able to see the greatness that is Pablo Chacon. So, I appreciate you guys watching first and foremost. First and foremost? I appreciate you guys watching first and foremost. And until the next one, man. Peace out, YouTube!